Hey everybody, Coach Irwin here. Hope you are doing okay. Obviously this whole situation is, uh, is very strange to all of us, so we're making the most of it. Um, I hope that you guys are doing well. We uh, obviously don't see each other much. Your teammates don't see you. The coaching staff doesn't see you. So it's, uh, it's been hard, I think, on everybody um, that wants to kind of go back to normal and play games and practice. So what we're going to do today is uh, let's get some training going. And um, this training is really kind of for you. So these are kind of the junior academy players. So welcome everybody, as well as our kind of U7 and U8 players. So same thing, glad you're in here. Um, all you need is a soccer ball. That's really what you need for sure. And then I have four cones set out as well behind me, I'll step aside. And uh, I, I took like four big steps and put cones down in a square and we are ready to roll. So I'm going to just kind of show a couple of things that we can do. Hopefully you, you join me. Uh, sometimes it might be something that you're not good at yet. So give it a try. And you can always change it a little bit so it's good for you, okay? So you don't have to do everything exactly the way I do. The goal is to get some touches in. The goal is to, to kind of enjoy playing with that ball and, and get better at some things. And hopefully also give you some ideas that you can work on even after this is done, okay? So enjoy and hopefully you'll, you'll find a way to do what I'm doing. So I was going to start with very basic for a moment, boys and girls, but just put a foot on top of the ball and just kind of touch that ball back and forth and then switch it to the other foot. We just kind of roll it back and forth, very nice and easy. Kind of feel the ball with your bottom of your shoe all the way from your toe to your heel, toe, heel kind of rolls as far without losing the ball. So we'll do it a couple more times. Now what I'd like us to do is we roll a couple times and then can you kind of push the ball to the other foot. Kind of roll it and your foot goes to the outside and the ball goes to the opposite foot. So the ball has a little bit of a squeeze we call that. And some of you would say, coach, I know the squeeze, I've done that before, absolutely. So now, let's just squeeze for a moment. Just squeeze the ball. Foot on top, let it pop out towards the other foot. So this is called squeezing. Now, can we squeeze and make a couple touches in between and a squeeze. So this now is tiki-taka squeeze. And we still do it very nice and relaxed. But if you say, coach, I can do this quicker, then I'd like you to try to be a little bit more bouncy. This is kind of where we like to be. Nice and relaxed and do the squeeze while hopping. Can we squeeze without tiki takas? So now we squeeze again, so we're kind of squeezing on the hop. Squeezing on the hop. Nice, relaxed. Keep hopping, keep your arms going. Very good, very good. Good, well done, and relax. Let's so start again with the foot on top of the ball. I have my right foot on top. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of make this a fake pass. So actually I'm gonna bring the foot down again. I'm going over the ball, touch it, and roll it back. I'm going over the ball, touch it, and roll it back. So this is like a fake pass. Passing, not passing. Passing, take the ball back away. 
the ball stays in touch with my bottom of the foot. So my foot is always touching the ball. The sole, the bottom of the foot. You see that? Fake pass. Can I go sideways a little bit with that ball? If you can do this, what I like to see is, can we do this with a tiki taka, switch feet, tiki taka, switch feet, fake pass. Tiki taka, fake, tiki taka, fake. Okay, here we go. Get your feet nice and quick. like you're kicking it and then you take it back. So think about maybe stepping out a little bit more, accelerate a little bit and make it look like you are passing like that. Coach made the mistake to actually pass. Should have done that, right? So tiki taka, fake pass. Tiki taka, fake pass. Well done. Good work and relax again. Good. Next thing I like to do for a moment is can we make scissors around the ball? Little step around, step overs. So we kind of go from inside to outside. So your foot, your leg goes between the ball and my other foot. So there has to be some space here in between. Space so I can get my foot between the ball and my leg and then circle around. Make sure you step away, circle around. So do this a couple times until you get comfortable. Then, can you do it with a jump? Relax, jumping, jumping, fantastic. Can we speed up a little bit? Deep in the knees. Good work, fantastic. Don't touch the ball. And here we go, come on. And stop, fantastic, well done. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna take the ball with us. So I'm stepping now with my right foot. Remember, space between the ball and my left foot. I step around. I'm gonna take it with my left with a little touch. And then I'm gonna bring it back home. Boom. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with my left foot. Left foot goes around. My right foot comes next to it. Roll it back again. Left, right, step out. Roll back. Right foot to her left foot. Right foot touch. Back. Left foot. Sorry, coach needs to do the right foot now. Right foot, left foot, back. Left foot, right foot, back. Let's see if you can do it now, okay? So you get around and then you touch the ball and you roll it back. Around, outside bottom, around, outside, bottom, back, okay, well done everybody, good job. Next one, I'm going to keep working on this, is the ball is on the right hand side, and I touch the ball with my foot, with the bottom of my foot, I'm going to roll it back, and I'm going to roll it behind my foot, and catch it with my left foot, so now my left he goes behind, and I push it to my right. Around and forwards. I'm going to go all the way around and touch. See if you can do that. It's a lot easier when you start jumping a little bit. So I'm going to try to show you when you jump as well, makes it easier because I'm going to get this foot, this leg, out of the way because I'm jumping and that makes it easier, not like that. Jumping makes it easier. Ooh, coach get tired already. Good, well done. Now you can make little touches if you want and make an extra touch. Jump and a touch, jump and a touch. Nice and easy, coach goes too fast too. Nice and easy. Well done everybody, great. 
Great job. Got a lot of little touches already, okay? Good. We know what tiki takas. So what I'd like to do for a moment is you can move inside your little square with tiki takas. You can walk first if you want. Once you get it by the cone, you can make a turn. Make sure you start again with the tiki takas. Maybe you can do another turn. Tiki takas. And slowly I want you to do your tiki takas when you are bouncing a little bit more. Any turn. You can turn any time you want. Make sure you use your left foot and right foot when you make turns. take my jacket off and it gives you a little break. Perfect. We're all doing okay still? We have a little break now which is okay. Good. Let's go and a couple more things that we can do together. And now the ball is in front of me again. I'm going to push the ball with the outside foot with my right, outside foot to the side. Then I'm gonna bring it back with the inside foot and stop it for a moment. Now the opposite foot, my left foot. Outside foot, inside foot, stop. Out, in, stop. Out, in, stop. Out, in, stop. Outside, inside, stop. You got it all? Do this one more time, stop it, out, in, stop. Good. Now let's do this without stopping. So now you have to be careful to not kick the ball too far with the outside foot, but also not to kick it too hard when you kick it with the inside foot. So I'd like you to do this very nice and relaxed, soft touches. Coach will show you soft touches. One, two, one, two, one, two. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Good. Oh. Out, in. Little touch away from you so you can get your other foot around the ball. Little touch away. You see coach bending his knees and be small when he's moving sideways? That's what we should work on. Little touches. Quick feet to follow the ball. Very good, very good. Okay, we do five more. Four, three, two, one, and done. Fantastic, fantastic everybody, good. So, go stay inside the square. Hopefully, all of you did as well. If not, slower and little touches, okay? Next thing is we can make touches same as what we just did, with one little change. Removing the ball with the outside foot. I am now trying to bring the ball behind me and then use again outside foot behind me. So the ball goes behind the foot. I stop it and I roll it behind me and then catch it again. Behind, outside foot. Behind, outside foot. You see this? Behind. It's almost like the move we did before, remember? One, back. Remember this move? We worked on that? That's what we're doing right now. So again, we're going to start easy and let's go a little quicker as we get more comfortable. You might start out with a walk. Just a walk. Oop, roll it. Touch. Roll. Touch, catch, roll. Pull the ball back, around, and a little touch. 
small touches again, very tiny touches. We walk through it a couple times more. If you can do this, I'd like you to start doing it with a little bit of a hop. We've done this, right? A little hop. Good. Well done. Deep in the knees. Fantastic. Little hop. Little up and hop. High and tall. And then small. Tall and small. Tall and small. Well done. And stop. This is a hard one. If you could do this, very, very good. Okay? Well done. Good. We're moving on. We did our little moves. These are our scissors, our step overs. Well, scissors really. The next one is a step over. Is now, look at what I'm doing. My right foot acts like a pass. Remember this little fake pass? Now we're actually gonna step over. So we're gonna make a pass, but now we go high over the ball, high over the ball, and put a foot down. Strong leg, muscle, yes? Then what I want you to do is put this foot behind you, next to this foot. And I push the ball away. Bam. You play it back again. Because now we do the left foot. My left foot, fake pass. Bam. Tight muscle. Put the foot that's behind, next to it. Push it with the left foot to the side, back to the center. Oh gosh. Back to the center. So one more time. Fake pass. Foot next to it. Push. Pull. Fake pass. Foot next to it. Up. Up. Okay, let's see if we can do this now. Right foot. Bam. Push out. Center. Left foot. Bam. Outside. Back. Right. turn we do this a minute every time you touch the ball obviously it's a point it can have one bounce or no bounce it's your choice okay one minute we like to know what the score is later on and five four three two one go
20 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and done. Good. Hopefully it went all right. Um, there come, there's going to be instructions coming, I think, through maybe an email or a Facebook uh, or TeamSnap. But what we like to have is your number in this competition. Okay, how many juggles did you have? Well done. Good. Hey, changing it up a little bit now, and I'm going to have four cones. You've seen those already. I'm going to number them. So the first cone left in the front is number one. The cone behind me, left in the back, is number two. The cone right in the back is number three. And the cone right in my front is number four. So I give you a little time to set four cones or four markers or four socks, four shoes. Um, mom, dad, mm, your brother and sister. Make sure they stay where they, you want them to be. And then... Let's do a little bit more of reaction with the ball and see how good we are and how quick we are. All right, we'll give you 10 more seconds to get it all organized and then you stand in the center with the ball. I'm in the center right now. One, two, three, four. Good. We're going to do a little tiki takas and then coach, me, will say number one. Number one is the front cone. I go to number one, I make an awesome move, and I'm going back to the center, and turn again, and I wait. And then I say maybe number two. Number two is behind me, so I might start with a little fake, and then go to two, make any turn, and go back to the starting spot. So let's do this, and we'll do different numbers, and we do combination numbers. I can do a 12, it's a 1, and then go to 2, and then go back to the middle, okay? Are we ready? Little tiki takas. 3, right front cone, back in the middle, we all should be back, 1, left front cone, 2, back cone, tiki takas. What haven't we had? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. We haven't had three. Oh, fantastic job. Good. Two numbers now. Two numbers. Be ready. 24. Two behind me. Up. All the way to four. And back. Well done. Keep going. 32. Behind. Sides. And back in the center. Who is quicker than me? That's what I want to know. Nobody, right? I can't see it, but hopefully nobody is quicker than me. Give it a shot. See if you're earlier here than I am. Are we ready? 42. Still looking forwards, okay? So don't turn your back, keep looking at the screen. 
and go through your numbers as quick as you can. Let's do this very quick, okay? This is about speed and quickness, all right? So be on your toes, be ready, running position. 42, go number four, go number two. Shuffle, 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 back to the middle. Running again, okay? 31, we go to three, bam, we go to one, touch, and we're ready to go. Good, keep going, keep going. 24. Good, you should be back in the middle again. Get your good form going. Get your knees up higher if you can. 43. Four and three. Good, back in the middle, be ready. Make it harder. Three cones, three numbers. 123, number one, number two, number three. Backwards, shuffle, shuffle, forwards. Keep going. 41. Four to one to center. Fantastic, come on, three more. 312. Three, one, two. Good, come on. Two more. Make it harder. I'm gonna go into thousands now. Yes, we do. We're going to 1,234. One, two, three, four. Good. Keep moving one more time. Keep those arms going. Keep those knees moving. Those legs. Last one. 4,321. Four, three, two, one. Other side around. All right, fantastic, fantastic. I'm coming a little closer to the screen. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time doing something again. Uh, kind of in a different way, but we're still training. Uh, the key is for you to keep touching that ball. That's your friend. And it needs to be touched every single time, every single day. Uh, these are some of the things you can do for yourself. Maybe your mom, your dad can help. Um, we will send this video so you can also make the same training one more time later on and then maybe you can do some different uh, additions to it, some different moves that you like as well. So thank you so much for all the work and the time that you put into your game. Keep doing it. Hopefully we'll see you soon back on the field. That's where we all like to be. But for now, be safe, stay home, wash your hands, and uh, keep working on touching that ball. Okay, thank you so much.
Hey everybody, Coach Erwin here, SCORE, Mountain State Method. Um, welcome. We are uh, preparing for a short training session, about 20-25 minutes. Um, first and foremost, obviously, I hope we're all still safe, hope we're healthy, um, that we are still working on what they call social distancing. Make sure you do your part and uh, obviously we're all kind of bothered and sad that we're not in the practice and game routines um, i miss it tremendously i know you do as well so uh, we make the most of the situation that's why we're here uh, glad that you tuned in um, the key is now to kind of change your workout and keep busy with the ball in different ways shapes and forms so you still prepare so you still are able to to put some training in that's relevant and and certainly because you know you love the game and that means the soccer ball and you have to be together and that's what we do right now so uh, session coming up I uh, put four cones out I step out of the way and these four cones are about for me at least about four yards four big steps uh, apart in a square and then the soccer ball of course um, you can do different dimensions if you like, no problem. More space, I would use it. If you have less space, you know, you ultimately have to make it a little smaller. Um, follow it, hopefully enjoy it. Let's go for it, good workout, and uh, I'll touch base afterwards, okay? Good luck. Good, so this is my second session right now. We did a small session for the younger kids. So for the older group, or the middle group right now, this is a little bit more designed for, uh, it's hard to say, but you know, U9, U10, U11, U12s, somewhere in between. Um, we should be able to know a lot more of the tiki takis the, the moves that we have. So I want to go a little bit more for the workout rather than the explanation. So the first thing I like to do as a warm up is what many of us have done way before and that is really working on our tiki takas all the way from one to a lot of the numbers okay you should know them if not follow the lead we're going to do something uh, for about 20 seconds and then move on to the next move okay so we're starting with the tiki taka foundation just in between okay off you go make sure you have your knees up and down running for nice and relaxed good rhythm squeaky floor for me can we do number two? It's semicircle. Number three, squeeze. Take your squeeze, sorry. Number four will be the roll. Take your tucker roll. Oh, different rhythm, coach. Lighten your feet. Oh. I lost it there for a second. Good. Number five, moving on. Fake pass. Coach, coach, coach. Sometimes a fake pass becomes a real pass. to up down move so now it's tiki taka little pass turn good then 
tiki taka with the pullback, the V, the V turn. So it's tiki taka, my bad. Tiki taka, V. Change it up a little bit and do it with a catch now. So, for the ones that want to touch base on that one, tiki taka now behind the plant foot. One, two, push it out, roll it behind, around, catch. One, two, roll behind, catch. One, two, behind, catch. Okay? You can try it as well. Next one is a little um, spin of the ball. So tiki taka, one, two, and then the other way around. A little Maradona, or is it done? Good work, well done. Last one is a combination between the last two. So the one before the Maradona was a little flick behind and then the Maradona, so we can combine it. Slow motion, first we go around, then we go around. Fantastic. Moving on right away, pushing the ball with the inside and outside foot. So we're going to move the ball. Actually, I'm going to use the two cones. It's kind of my guidance here. The diagonal cones. So in the middle, turn my body. Diagonal cones. I'm going to keep the ball between those cones. Right foot pushes out, outside. Cut it with the inside. Move it to the other side with one foot. Make sure we have a little bit of a rhythm and you just go in and out. Inside, outside, in, out, okay? In, out. Push that ball towards the cone. Top. Push it towards the cone. Important, where is the ball going? Chopping. Chopping. Cutting. Deep in the knees when you make the move. Deep in the knees. So you can churn. Okay, moving on. Looks the same. We're going behind the plant foot. So this almost becomes the Cruyff turn. So now we try to hit it behind the plant foot. Outside foot, behind. Lighten your feet again. Heads up after you turn. Make sure you see the cone. Heads up behind the turn. Last one. And relax. 
guys. Good job, everybody. Fantastic so far. So next one, stay between the cones again. Same cones. Let's go for some of the up-down moves. We have a bunch of them. We're going up down the first one with simply the wrap. Ankle around the ball, wrap the foot around the ball, right foot to the outside, and then here it's the left foot outside. Right foot outside. Wrap it, make sure the ball goes where it needs to go. Once you can do this, let's build up speed. Make sure you wrap. Inside foot, chop, go to the other side, inside chop. Okay, get your foot quick out of the way. Make sure you turn quick. Fantastic, and relax. Good. Coach breaking a sweat. Hopefully you do the same. Should be. We're moving into our little spin moves. We know a bunch of them. Again, you should know them. I'll do a slow motion once, then we can go. We're gonna make a triangle, so I'm gonna forget the cone on my left. I work with three cones. I'm gonna to go to the front cone. I'm gonna always spin. One, two touches, go to the second cone, far end, I'll spin, one, two touches, come over here, same thing, whether the ball spins around me or I spin, over here again, inside, inside, over here, could be outside, outside, up here, could be Maradona, alright, be creative now.
So I found my rhythm. Keep going. I want you to work with three moves. Let's just do it this way. First cone is an outside hook with the right. Double spin. Then you go to the second cone. Inside left. Spin up move. Then the third cone, it is a little flick behind. So again, outside hook spin. With the right. Left inside spin. Flick behind. Do it again. Off you go. Off you go. Keep working at it for 30 seconds. Keep going at it. Make it perfect. Ten seconds left. Keep pushing yourself. And stop. Fantastic, guys. Good. Actually, we're dropping this far cone out now. This far cone is out. We'll do an uh, outside hook now with the left. There we did it with the right. Here we do it with the left. One, two. We're going to end up over here on this front cone again. Second uh, section. We now do an inside hook with the right. So it's the opposite. And then over here, we'll do a flick. My bad. Over there. We do a flick behind. So we can go back to the front. So here, outside hook, boom, left. Inside right, tuck, tuck. Over here, left foot, flick behind. Off you go again, left, hook, hook. Inside hook. Flick behind, off you go. seconds. And stop. Good work. Very good. So we're working some of the turns, right? Fantastic job. Use the two base cones in the back and the center. So I do a little touch in the middle, we're stepping around, scissors, and then moving with the opposite foot to the outside cone. So a little touch in the middle, step over, or scissors, and a turn, okay? seconds we're going to build up some of our strength in our legs we're bending a lot we're pushing off stamina and obviously still the most important the touch keep at it good job good job finish up awesome awesome everybody good work next one I will go to the middle again and in the middle, we make a little bit of a, of a fake step to the left. We'll step out and push the ball to the right, to the cone, right in front of you. So again, we're pushing the ball to the middle. We step out to the right, and we go with the left. So it's a quick little step, take. Step out, take. Step out, take. Keep going. Keep going on your own. 
Take it a good step out, a little fake. We'll do 20 more seconds. Keep going strong, guys and girls. Repetition is key. Repetition makes you better. Finish up and stop. Fantastic. Good. Relax a moment. Relaxing, juggling. So why don't we go into a little juggle practice for yourself. You can start with the ball in your hands. Hopefully you can start with the ball on the ground. And just kind of work for a minute the uh, juggle practice. Then you're gonna do the juggle competition for a minute, okay? Good luck. what to do with that number okay so let's get ready three two one and go And stop. Well done, everybody. So again, remember your number. Gave us a little break as well. Fantastic job. Um, moving on. Intensity goes up a little bit here in our uh, next stage. Some of you have done this before with me in this recording or previous recording. Um, four cones. I have four yards apart, big, you know, basically four big steps, whatever uh, your room looks like, your situation. Um, in the end, your left front cone, marker, sock, shoe, doesn't matter what it is, your left front is number one, your back left side, your left back then is two, your right back is three, your right front cone is four. One, two, three, four. We're starting with the ball in the center. We all are doing the tiki takas, so we're never standing still. Bend your knees, make sure that you have good form. From there, I'm gonna show, okay, I'm gonna yell some numbers at you. If I say number one, we all know what to do. You take the ball, so if I hear number one, you take the ball to number one, you make a move that brings you back to the center, and there you will do immediately your tiki takas again. So again, one, two, three, and four. Know your numbers, know your moves. And then you're gonna go. We're gonna do this for two minutes in a row. So I'm gonna time it. You don't need me to do it at all. You know what to do. And uh, let's go as quick as you can. So two minutes, non-stop, make sure we're ready to roll. Are we ready? Number one. You should be back in the middle by now again. Number two. Number 
Number three. Number four. Okay, so this is our first example. So now you got it. Time didn't uh, click in yet. You know the numbers, you know the cones now. Off we go. Ready? Two minutes going. Number 12, number one and two, let's go. Front cone, back cone. Number 12. hooks make those turns 421 a four a two a one find your little turns find your hooks your spin-off moves your left foot your right foot switch it up make it make it work for yourself three two 31, 42, 231, keep going, keep going, gotta throw a couple more, 4, 13, 4, 1, 3, Come on, last one, biggest number, okay? 1,234. One, two, three, four, click around, let's go. Fantastic, fantastic. Well done, everybody, great job. Good, leave your ball. Oh, sorry, kick your ball out. No ball. No ball. Guess what? Two minutes. We do the same thing with no ball. So now, If I say number 13, we know number one is on the left front, number three is on the right back. So number 13 would be the front, touch, back pedal, touch. So we do not turn our back, we always look at the screen, okay? Ready to roll? Two minutes. This is going to be intense, be quick, be fast, this is your workout, okay? Are we ready? Set, 12. Number one, number two, touch, touch, back in the middle. Once you're in the middle, running four, running four. 32. Three and two. 41. 2 1 31. 43, 43, keep moving guys, if you're there, keep moving, 21, good work guys and girls, come on, 14, it's a shuffle, 32, backwards, shuffle, forwards, 231, Keep at it, keep at it. 413. Keep working, girls, keep working, well done. 1213. Twenty-one. Four. Two. Three. 
414 and back in the middle fantastic this should give you a good workout right quick fast strong and a little bit of endurance in the end because you're getting tired fantastic job everybody good we're taking two cones again the challenge that we've done that we put on the video before on Facebook so let's do it right away make a little gate maybe two feet separate the cones one foot doesn't matter the smaller the gate the harder it will be maybe ball is on the right side let's just transfer the ball transfer the body transfer the ball transfer the body it's quick side face movement both feet one side, both feet the other side. Ball goes through the gate, body goes around the gate. Ball goes through, body goes around. Work on it, touch. Consistency, consistency. Try to see if the rhythm is off. See if you can find the same rhythm. Yes, once you go sideways, it becomes hard. We got the picture, you know what to do. Practice for a while. 30 seconds, work on the rhythm, get your quick feet in, get your consistent touch in. Okay, off you go. 30 seconds. And stop, well done. So why don't we make this a competition as well? So again, the ball has to go through, the body has to go around, and uh, it has to be one touch. So every time that happens, you connect with your feet, the foot and the ball, it's a point. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, as long as one touches and you don't go through the gate yourself. Both feet has to transfer, okay? That's important. 30 seconds, make sure you have a count. Remember that count. I think we're gonna do something with that from a clock perspective, okay? Like a competition. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go! And stop! Well done everybody. Okay, so you have a number hopefully. Hopefully you get some good rhythm out of it. Relax again. Good. Final part here uh, is let's just do some freestyling. You can find your own area again. You can do anything you like. Just stay busy with the ball. Work on as many different variations, turns, tricks, moves that you have. And just kind of, you know, kind of combine and link moves. You'll find that certain moves link nice with each other. And that might be something that will be combo moves and double up moves. But uh, let's just start nice and relaxed. And just keep that ball close to you, and you can do a lot of different things with that ball.
just gave a little example. Your turn. Keep at it. 30 seconds. Stop again. Good. Hey, um, that's it for this session. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you had a good time. It was good again to get touches on the ball. Uh, I loved it because I'm, I'm interacting indirectly, but still, it's uh, back in the saddle as coach coaching. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, keep at it. Don't stop. This will uh, pass this time. Things will get better, and uh, when they are, we gotta be ready, okay? Just remember. Ciao. Hi everybody, this is Coach Irwin, getting ready for a training session. This is kind of meant for our older age groups, uh, all the way up to high school. So thanks for tuning in. We all know why we're here, why we're doing what we're doing at this moment. Um, social distancing, obviously COVID-19, trying to make sure we're not spreading the disease more than it's already been doing, uh, particularly in Michigan as we know. So uh, hopefully you guys are all healthy, your families are healthy, 
and uh, the goal now is just to enjoy what we love to do is being soccer players with the ball and uh, go at it so just kind of follow the lead there's moments that uh, you guys are going to continue when coach takes a break and uh, hopefully about 20 25 or maybe 30 minutes of a workout and uh, go from there okay so let's get ready i have four cones set out and they are about uh, four to five yards apart if you have more space feel free to use more of the space uh, but this is what i have to work with and uh, and the ball obviously so let's get going So for starters, all of us know our fundamentals, so we're going to work with our tiki-takas quickly and uh, go through it, okay? So tiki-taka number one is foundation, get your arms going, knees go up and down, develop a rhythm, okay, we go sideways, okay, we go backwards, forwards, Number two is semi-circle. I just did this with the other group already. So I should be ready to go. Number three is the squeeze. Squeeze again. and relax again. Shake the legs out a little bit. You should have a little bit of a heart rate up. Relax. Let's go easy in a basic dynamic stretch for the hamstrings for a moment. They mean tax already. We'll simply stand up tall. Keep your legs kind of straight. And we'll just drop. Come back up. again. Want to grab your quadriceps as well. Hold it. Coach can't do it anymore. Both my knees are shut. But you get the just two seconds, three seconds count with the left and a two to three second count with your right. So I'll give you some time to do so. So while I'm standing, you're stretching. Good, good. Um, let's do the numbers real quick. Number one is tiki taka, just straight on. Number two was semicircle, little twitches. Number three was the squeeze. Number four was the roll. So I'm going to throw out a couple of numbers to you right away. Two digit numbers. That means I want you to do for about four seconds. The number that I give you, and then another four seconds, the other number. So if I do number, they'll give it number 13, I will go number one, and then number three, which is the squeeze. So now I'll give you a different number, and it could be then 24, semicircle, with the roll. Okay, so these are the things that we're going to do for a moment. So let's be ready. I'm just going to stay here. You guys are going to go with it as quick as you can. Ready? Number 12, one and two. Foundation and semicircle. If you are done, 
Just continue your regular foundation, number one. Number 32, it's a squeeze with a semicircle. We should be back to our foundation again. 41, it's a roll with the foundation. Keep at it, keep at it, good. Number 23, semicircle with a squeeze. stay behind the center or in the center of the cone I'm going to basically cut the ball backwards to my plant but push it cut it so this is all about making sure the ball comes back to where it started from it's inside inside with a quick little hop so turn your hips quickly get around here we go all about rotating those hips and the shoulders. Stop again, well done. Cone can go out. 
do some quick variations, all change in direction, all of them were the V. Up down moves right now, so variation is hard, coach getting warm. So again, there's only so much variation we can do. The middle group did this as well, the younger group did this. The goal for us is to do quicker, faster, stronger. So two cones, up down moves, one touch in between, see if you can work on consistency and then just make sure that our, our legs are working the right way, deep down when you turn. So we go and all we're going to do is an inside foot cut again, we've done this before, go in between the cones and build up the speed. One touch, cut the ball in front, cut it in front. outside foot. So we've done inside is outside. So I'm going to use slow and slow motion. Outside cut, right foot, outside left, left foot. Outside right, push right, left, push left. Keep it between the coats, high quality, 20 seconds. Ready, go. Well done and relax. Good job. Let's go all. We have six moves that go up and down. So we might as well do them all then. So we did three already. Outside. Sorry, we did two. Outside, inside, and stop turn. Three. Four now will be step over turn. So again, go to the cone. The cone is a little bit to your left. Step over with the right. Turn back. Step over with your left. Turn. So one touch push, turn, turn. Okay, deep in the knees again. Ready, set, go. too fast. Alright, so this is a little bit more relaxed. Make sure you do the right thing. And go, 20 seconds. Side. So now we'll be a Cruyff turn, fake shot, 
put your foot, your plant foot, kind of in between the defender, cone and the ball. Work on your form to make sure the ball goes backwards, straight, and all we're going to do is keep working on that first touch, making sure it goes backwards, okay? 20 seconds again, ready, set, go! Good, fantastic, take a break. Good, relax. Let's go down on the ground for a moment. Change it up a little bit. Okay, so you can sit down. I'm angled now for the camera. Let's do a little bit of a session here for our core. Let's put our legs in the air. Keep your body strong. And let's see if we can move the ball around our legs and go, oh coach, go left and right. So you can hold it up there still. Get away. Good, then stop. Hold up. Ball goes. Next, our feet are slightly past the ball. Kind of angle straight behind. Let's lift the legs up and go one, two, three, four. Don't touch the ball, coach. And see if we can just make a little turns. Twisting, nice and relaxed. Go over the ball. Try to keep your legs off the floor. Ten, nine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Well done. Just a little core workout. Good job, everybody. Go back on the feet. We have many, many spin up moves. So, get on and work on those for a moment as well. So again, for you, you know how to do it. It's about speed, it's about short turns. Can you do it in one touch instead of two touches or three touches? Can you get away from the cone or get away from the turn? So these are the keys for you to work on, okay? Again, limited space, so we just gotta be aware. All I'm gonna do is for about 30 seconds is work on my outside foot spin up move. So outside foot spin means We'll do it once, and I will do it twice right away. So now we're ready for trouble. We do one and two. Now we can switch feet. One, two, and we can also do the inside foot spin off. So we'll give you the in and the outside foot spin off. Okay, but everything we do is spinning. Inside and outside hook spin offs. We can do our flick behind or the Ronaldo flick. So, again, we can work on this in freestyle motion. So, here is either you do roll the ball back with a little side touch, that's one way, or you do the one touch field where you stay in touch with the ball, and this is the quicker version. The third one, if you want to do, is really a little Ronaldo flick. Three options that you have, work all three with both feet, okay? Ready? Let's go, 30 seconds, good luck. Stop, well done. Last 
one in the little spin-off category is the Maradona, is it down, a little flick on the ball. So this is again, if you do right foot first, right left, and then you can do left right. So switch it up, only those moves, 30 seconds, ready, go. Working, make sure you do your left foot, right foot. Don't turn with the same foot all the time. Get a good touch outside your body. 10 seconds. And relax again. Well done. Good. Good, good. So the next step will be, we can do all these moves randomly, just kind of switch them off. So you have outside hook spin off, inside hook spin off, you have the flick behind, slash Ronaldo flick, and you have the uh, Maradona Zidane, anything that you want to call it. Okay, roller coaster for some of you. So now just give yourself, again, a good workout with a variety of these moves, okay? There's no right or wrong. We're just gonna do it for one minute, gives you a good workout, a lot of touches on the ball. Okay, ready, set, go. Then we do a minute for our highest number, okay? So easy juggling, ready, set, go. score obviously no bounces you can do your feet your knees your head doesn't matter we'll start at five seconds remember to count at the end three two one go We might, might not want to do something with it, but you know your score should be easy for you to figure. Good. We 
are going to work with numbers. Again, we've done this with the previous clips as well, with the younger kids and the kind of middle group. Code number one, left front. Number two, left back. Number three, right back. Number four, right front. One, two, three, four. Starting position in the center. All I'm going to do is call again names, or numbers, sorry. Like I say, number one. You go to code number one. You have to go back to the middle. So this means you go up, down. Make one of the up, down moves. We've done six of them. Then I might say, give me a number one and a number two, number 12. Number one. Now, you gotta start spinning because you're changing directions quite a bit. Number two, another spin move. Back in the center. So this is what you do now. Make sure you figure out which numbers are aligned with each other so you know what kind of move to make. So if I'm gonna say, let's see, one and three is 13, and I do a two, so 132, I go to one, I do an up down because it goes straight the other way. Now I'm gonna have to spin because this one is not straight, it's at an angle, and then I push the ball back to the center. So I want you to recognize when it's up down, when the spin moves, okay? That's your job. We'll do this for three minutes. Hard work, take your ball, be ready. If you're in the middle early, make a little foundation touches and be ready to react. Okay, so three minutes to go. Number one. Back in the middle everybody, right? Keep moving the feet. Number two. Number three. And number four. Know where they are, now we start working. Number 23. Thirty-four. Hundred forty-one. Back in the middle, foundation, knees up, arms up, be ready. Twenty-three. 34, 412, 214, 343, 121 Keep it up now, keep it up. We're gonna keep going. Four digit numbers. 1041 That was impossible by the way, but that's okay. You figured it out hopefully. So here we go. 1312. 1, 3, 1, 2. I help you. You guys haven't been in school for a while, so you might need some help with the numbers. 321. Keep at it now, guys. Keep at it, ladies. Quick reaction, short moves, quick turns. 232. Last minute. 134. 134. Come on, come on, let's finish up strong. 1,234. Let's see how smart you are. One, two, three, four. Good. Back in the middle, we have one more. See if you can figure this one out. Four. 1,321. It's a four, three, two, and one, opposite way around. Awesome. And take a break. Good job, good job. Nice and relaxed. So what we've done with the ball and the numbers, we're now going to do without ball. So this is our conditioning element again. Agility, quickness, 
uh, reaction time. Always enter back to the center. Once you're at the center, make sure you're just in running form, get your arms going, get your knees up and down, and be ready. Again, different numbers. One, two, three, four digit numbers. Uh, only requirement is make sure you touch the cone with your hands. So you gotta go deep in your knees and touch it. Uh, secondly, you never turn your back. So if you have to go to a back cone, it's shovel in with the front foot and a back foot, and then you touch the cone. So you never turn your back, okay? So let's do this, three minutes. This is going to be hard work, okay? Are we ready? And go with number one. Back in the center. 21. 312. 431. 1,232. Be quick, be quick now guys and girls. Be ready. 42. All the way diagonal, back in the middle. 143. 234. 21. Keep at it, keep at it. 42. 312. 143. 241. 4,213. 1 minute to go guys, come on. 1 minute to go, dig deep now. 12. 41. 124. 342. Make sure the legs are up still. Make sure we're pedaling here. Get your arms going. 21. Final bit here. 1234. 4321. feel pretty stretched right now, pretty tired. Heart rate should be up. A lot of short little runs for work. Two little cones, shoes, whatever you have. A little space in between the gate. Some of you know this stuff. Ball to the right, body to the right. One touch ball through the gate body around my front cone and then again ball goes through the gate body goes around the cone ball goes through the gate so now it's all about one touch consistency and quick transition so a little agility make sure both feet are over and start practicing this little rhythm get the ball in and around okay let's do this for 30 seconds or roughly a little practice and then we make a game out of it okay Good and relax. 
most known diseases, number one, at my age, number two, if you don't practice enough, guess what shows right away? Inconsistent touches. This goes to show again how important it is to keep working on the touches on the ball. Consistency, consistency. Good. Let's do this. 30 seconds. Every time the ball goes through the gate, it's a point. One touch only. One touch. And you cannot go through the gate. You have to go around the gate. 30 seconds. Count how many completions you have. Four, three, two, one, go. Stop! Good work, everybody. Just drop your ball. Relax for a moment. So one of the things you should do after this is uh, do a basic stretch for a moment for yourself. This is a hard floor. If you're on the inside, so you're talking about, you know, obviously score, Rockford, Michigan. Most of us will be inside. Weather is absolute tremendously cold, windy. Um, if you are tuning in from other places, you might be outside still, which is much friendlier on the body. So this, this surface here is uh, pounding the joints and the muscles. So make sure you take time to stretch. For me, this is it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Just give you some ideas what to do again. Broken a sweat, you must be too. And uh, keep working on what you can control. This is what we can control. We can work with the ball on a variety of turns, tricks and moves. You can still do the running outside and you should be able to run outside. So make sure that you're doing the conditioning part and then touches on the ball. Eventually we'll be back together. We can blend it all together with teammates and that's ultimately where we can play the beautiful game that we miss. Okay, thanks again for tuning in. Much appreciated.